What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Friends Next Door. This is Quan. It's Dan. It's Mia. It's Thomas. Hello, hello. We're back. We're back. How's everybody doing? The gang's back. <laughs> the gang's back. <laughs> We're very cozy. <laughs> we yeah. are yeah. very yeah. cozy. Yeah. Always. Do we like each other? Too yes. Close. I think so. It looks good, another. but we're actually like <laughs> basically. <laughs> Dan, Dan is super comfortable right now. <laughs> Mia, are you okay? Dan. I'm okay. Are Dan? you okay? okay? You just look a little funny from here. I'm actually but very so good. He, no, Dan looks good, but just he's kind <clears> of squatting, you know? I'm it's sitting okay. in a really awkward position. <laughs> it's just like good stamina, you know? You know? Yeah. Hey, we got to make it work, guys. We're making it work for you guys. Got to make We're it work. We're making it work, okay? <laughs> this is all for you guys. Yes. Who are watching this. <laughs> Eventually. Right. Yeah. One day, one day you'll see us, don't worry. Um, but today we are going to do an episode kind of similar actually to one that we've done before. Mm-hmm. We're ta- we've taken another test, guys, and I think people really like these personality tests. So th- the first one that we've done is the Myers Briggs one. So go check out that episode. That's and the four letter one. Yes, like that, that's how I remember it. <laughs> what are the four letters? Do you remember? I don't remember. T D T D L T G I F. T G I F. Those are the four letters. T L D R. T L D R. T G I F. L M A O. No, seriously. R O L that's uh, like MBTI. IS- oh yeah, MBTI. MBTI. Yes. Actually, I didn't realize how big of a deal that was until I was reading uh, Blackpink members' profiles, <laughs> and they all had their Mem- Myers Briggs. No. Okay, yes, so you yes. know how in Asia, yeah. um, blood type was yes. big before, but they then now they're all about too. MBTI. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. That's no. so interesting. Like that somehow, the juxtaposition yeah. between those two. Yeah. Also, like, somehow they just can guess people's MBTI definitely, types. Definitely. And they definitely. like remember, like they just basically memorize. You look like, definitely. you're like a, mm-hmm. for sure. If you know, if person. you know it, you can, I okay, can tell. We, yeah, we can should tell. do one where we match our MBTIs with Blackpinks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, well I like, refuse. <laughs> like, is like, do they have like, a, um, you know how they, you said that they can just look at you and look, figure out what type you are. It's kind of like they could do that with a blood type too. I don't know how accurate that was. It was was just like certain blood types had certain personalities. Well, anyway, today we're talking about Enneagrams. Enneagrams. (laughs) We're not talking about MBTI. (laughs) We're not going off track again. (laughs) We're talking about another one. Another one. Hey, but I mean, out of all the, well, we haven't really done many personality tests, but like, I'm like another personality test. And I was struggling. What do you with mean? this Mia test, was struggling. It, like, took it took me a took long, time long time <laughs> to complete okay. it, and there was like a lot of questions that right. I probably was overthinking a lot yes. of them, but <laughs> the results were surprising. Would I know. you say you don't know yourself very well? Is that why you were struggling? I think, I, okay, once we go through my yeah. test results, yes. you will see why I was struggling. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, it's the tests. Like these, <laughs> like, like, I'm sorry. Like It's always the test. It's never my fault. 70% of the questions, I'm like, it's because it, there's so many layers. Mm-hmm. There are a right? lot of layers. This one is, so we took the Enneagram yeah. test from this website called the Narrative Enneagram, yeah. I think. We can link it. Um, but for those that are, there's like a billion personality tests. We'll probably do yeah. more because they're kind of fun just to kind of do them and it's like fun to talk read about, about like it's your results fun, it's fun yeah. to read about them but for those that maybe this first time you're hearing about it or there it's it's been really trending but enneagram it's stemming from the greek words ennea nine and gramos a written symbol it's the nine pointed enneagram symbol represents nine distinct strategies for relating to the self others and and the world. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, there's nine profiles. Um, and the specific narrative one, actually, that's actually what I liked about this report. Mm-hmm. Um, it actually goes through different, it gives you different sections about like psychologically, spiritually, yeah. and things like that. And it like shows your stress point, yeah. your, you know. I still don't understand like that. that. Yeah, we'll go, over, we'll read each other's. So like, um, but yeah, this, I think what's interesting about this one is they're numbers. It's like yes. you're what you're a one or you're an well, eight. It was, it was a little like, confusing at first. Right, yeah. right. Because I, I was expecting was like a number. Well, the thing is you get a number for you each do. of the nine categories. Would you call them categories? Yeah, I think so. So you get a number so. for it. But then like yes. I couldn't read about what the nine categories were. Yes. Yes. So I got confused. 
because we have this to, oh, we ended up actually me. no actually we did we actually took a test on yeah. it we'll link both links we took a test on another link because it was free guys yeah. go for the free and then this <laughs> report is the narrative enneagram which is i think like pretty good so to go through the nine types so there's not literally they're numbered one through nine mm-hmm. and then we they have names like the perfectionist the performer the romantic so things like mm-hmm. that's so always the whatever and so, so what, what are the nine the nine are the perfectionist the so gi- one mm-hmm, the uh-huh. giver the performer the romantic the observer the loyal skeptic the epicure the protector and the mediator so just Thomas would be the loyal skeptic. <laughs> just yeah. by name. And, and just the by observer. Name. Just by name. I'm going to guess right now. Oh, I, yeah. Let's do, yeah. let's do that. Like, okay. And, oh, and, and don't okay. confirm or deny. That would be a good. That's so good. I say you're like either the observer or the loyal skeptic. <laughs> okay. No, I don't funny. even know what the other ones were. But when I heard that, <laughs> you're like, that was Thomas. Thomas is one of those. The perfection. Also, I, I like these are all like, you know, rather positive. They are. Describer, yeah. Descriptors. <laughs> You know, like there's yeah. no like the slacker, the terrible friend, <laughs> the jaded also, one, I also the like liar, who got away. the yeah. unreliable, the serial killer yeah. one. Because yeah. they even made the skeptic one, the loyal skeptic. Hey, yeah. you're not a skeptic. You're, you're also loyal. loyal. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mia is not the romantic one. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'm going to put that one out there. Nope. Is she a perfect? Perfectionist. Am I? Maybe. What are some of the other ones again? So the giver, the performer, the observer, the epicure, the protector. What is the epicure? I don't know what that means. I don't know what She's, epicure means. You, epicure. Not the prote- epic. She epicure. could be the protector. Like, are you the are you protective Ep- of your sister? Am I your, the protector? Like, are do, are you protective <laughs> epicure, of your sister? Epicure, a person who uh-huh. takes particular pleasure in fine food. Is and that drink. you? So no. like a, a no. people who no, like fine I could eat things. Anything. That's true. Thomas epicure. could be the epicure because he takes he. Thomas is more of a foodie than I mean he he'll go to France and you know. Eat That's all true. Time. Like <laughs> that I'm just true. like, can I have McDonald's, please? I mean, I'll eat. <laughs> he'll go to Japan yeah. and get like the finest yeah. cut of beef. It's yes, ironic because yeah. obviously we did food videos on Off the Great Wall introducing people to food, but I'm like, I can eat good stuff and I could just eat like halal on the street. That's but halal true. is so good. But it's not gourmet. It's okay. just, it's actually really bad for you, <laughs> but it tastes good. I almost, I almost got halal today. Are you the performer? <laughs> I guess it could be. What, uh, is there, what are some of the other ones? The, uh, the yeah. perfectionist. Are you the romantic? I'm not the perfectionist. The romantic. Uh, I don't think I'm the romantic. Oh You're a giver. Yeah. Maybe. Wait, did you remember what your, your result I, was? Yeah, I remember the number. Okay. Oh, oh you remember oh, the number? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I don't remember okay. what it corresponded and then, so to. So we're going to do, obviously double click into like all of our numbers yeah. or whatever. But mm-hmm. as you guys know, we said this in our MBTI one. Yeah. These are just tests that kind of give you kind of like a, a, maybe something to reference. Yeah, they like don't use it to pigeon. Yeah, don't use yeah. it to pigeonhole you in. You're not mm-hmm. just this one thing. Mm-hmm. So like, but sometimes it is. I beg to differ. This one's pretty accurate. Oh, really? This one should should pigeonhole you. (laughs) Sometimes they are super on the nose, which I think can be really helpful to be like, oh, dang, like self-awareness. I think it can be a good self-awareness tool. uh, But don't use it to limit yourself. Do you guys, so you feel like this is accurate? I think so. Do you feel like it's accurate, Thomas? This is pretty accurate, yeah. Quan. Yeah. Do you think Um, that yours was accurate? I, I felt that I was a cross between two numbers. Okay. Okay. Which ones? Well, um, should oh. I tell them? All right, let's just start. Let's just start. Let's just start. First, one? Thomas, are you either of the yeah, ones one? I mentioned? I oh, which one? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. The observer was, or yeah. the loyal cynic, skeptic. Loyal the loyal skeptic. skeptic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I got the observer. Mm. So, okay, what number is that? Five. five. I think so you got five. it. It was one of the options that you yeah, mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So tell tell us more about your number, your Enneagram. Why does it sound like a Coldplay song title? Oh, you got it. You got it. All right, so the observer... Always searches the, for no, the science. Sorry, the scientist. The scientist was oh, a Coldplay the song. There it goes. There it is. Okay, okay. please okay. continue. Okay. So the observer, I like how you took me seriously. <laughs> the observer always stares from afar, uh-huh. behind a window usually, or or behind <laughs> Reddit like or Twitter. Like a creep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no. I'm the kidding. virtual window that Thomas <laughs> stares behind. He can't. Behind. He can't. Okay. okay. What uh, type five sells about themselves? Uh, I have a strong need for privacy. I limit okay. intrusion from a world that wants too much from me. <laughs> yes, for I sure. I hoard time, space, energy, knowledge, and myself. <laughs> I detach from feelings and observe rather than participate. And lastly, I am a minimalist. 
What do you think about that last You're one? You're not man? a minimalist. <laughs> not anyone. You don't think he's a minimalist? I don't think so. Well, Based on I, this past He doesn't move. have much stuff. He does have a lot of stuff. <laughs> in the kitchen. But like also, in his life. No, in his... Mia is the true Have you seen how uh, full his apartment was? Just like... So... Uh, okay. Things just keep coming out. I think it's, I think it's relative. So my... <laughs> impre- yeah. So, for you, who's a real minimalist, Mia's Miam. A no, extreme nice. minimalist. Extreme minimal. Nice. So when I Mia's saw his... Mia's got more stuff. Yeah. No, got no, more no stuff. she's no, no, got no. nothing. I have she's enough She's more stuff. stuff now, I think. I have enough she's, stuff. But still definitely. nothing. I Compa- wouldn't say it's nothing. Like, have you, well, She's have got you a seen TV, guys. So your, <laughs> when I saw your apartment, I just thought, oh, it's it's not that much stuff for a really? guy. Because he's got mm. the basic furniture. You've got basic furniture. Mm-hmm. You've got your work desk, bed, clothes, and stuff you like. So to mm-hmm. me, I'm like, okay, that's that's like acceptable. You don't, okay. You're not a hoarder. Mm. Mm. But you, that's but really I, I like, extreme. Uh, but I'm I guess not you're a hoarder, not a minimalist. So you're a minimalist. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not okay. as minimalist yes. as before, I'd yes. say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think fair. it's also because I've settled into more hobbies and interests and things like that. But right. I feel like you're a minimalist in philosophy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fair. You know, you're not that's like... Fair. So wise. Because yeah. so. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'll try a lot of new things, but <laughs> Thomas will try, but he's like one at a time. Like guitar, but then like, okay, I'm done with it. Or like cooking, but then I'll put that aside. You know, like I feel like you're not, <laughs> like, you don't get into like 12 simultaneous Well, that's activities. focus, right? He's, it sounds like that there's a focus there. Yeah. Maybe. Would you? Focus. One track mind, yeah. One track yeah. mind. Controlled chaos. Are, <laughs> is, do they elaborate more or they just give like a basic? Yeah, that's like the high level Yeah, that's the high level. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, yeah. don't they have variations? Like, don't, don't they say like, if you're, if you really, if you're really relate to that, you're this. Because that's what I saw for mine. Like, mm-hmm. if you're. They almost gave you like three levels of it, right? Uh, upper, mm. mid, and you guys, upper, <laughs> oh. mid, and lower. Are you, are, you, are you talking about like the, um, yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, yeah. like the primary centers, right? Of like what oh, you're primary. Yes. So there's like head, body, and heart or something. Yes. But right? also, I thought I saw like if you, if you re, like you can't just, they don't just give you one number. It's almost like, one yeah. A, one B, one C. Yeah, 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 so yeah. they yeah. give you like, there's like, okay, so in this narrative Degrees. Enneagram, yeah. they have, they give you a primary center depending mm-hmm. on your uh, type, which Thomas just said, it's you, your heart, your mind, or your body. Okay. And then there are like wings, which That's is right. what I think you're referring yeah. to. Yeah. So which are, hold on, let me pull up the definition because they have a good you, definition. So what's yours? Like, so like your head, um, your... Yeah, primary center is head. And then really quick, the wing points are located on either side of our type. Uh And because wings are right next to our type, we can visit them easily. So people often have one dominant wing that modifies and blends with the basic type and highlights certain tendencies along with the instinctual subtype. The wings account for many wonderful variations in the personality type. So I understand that as being like, they may be people that you it's easy to, for you to get along with or just like the air like personality features that you're able to access easily as mm, well outside right. of your own mm. yeah my wings are um four and six which are the romantic wing and the loyal skeptic wing oh that's there is there, there. <laughs> is there? Is okay. there somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and i think there's a romantic aspect you know like where you're like love to travel mm. you know you're like oh and no you, longer i hate flying Okay, Wait, really? but prior to prior to your last trip, you loved to travel, yeah, and you prior, did so every year yeah. mm. by yourself too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I can see okay. that. Yeah, each of them, each of the reports, it gives like a little high level one, high level description. So, Dan, which one were you? I was eight. You were eight. But I thought I was on the border of seven and eight. Okay. Like right in the middle. So eight is the protector, mm-hmm. and then you thought seven. Seven was the epicure. So, what? so you no, 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 no. Uh, you got fine. No, what's nine? So what's nine? Nine is the mediator. I don't think. I don't think you are. are. <laughs> <laughs> no, we took different. I no, feel like Dad, no, no, we no. took the same test, but I feel like no. the one I was taking. Where did I send the results? Did I send them to you guys? You, 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 you sent did. it. You sent, you sent yeah, the, it was the whole like diagram of like. So to where? To like the chat. So okay, so <laughs> eight. So you're oh, saying you were an eight. So eight. It says. Thrive on having lots of energy in your body okay, and enthusiasm for life. True. Strong and protect the weak. Direct, willing to confront when the need arises and yes. express my anger immediately. Yes, uh, that's 100% true. <laughs> People see me as aggressive, intimidating, intense, and impulsive. See, no. I don't think so. I don't think I'm... Uh, and trouble staying with my own vulnerability and sad feelings. 
A strong sense of knowing what is fair or right in my body center. So your primary center is your body, which is... I, I would say head? so, head? not my head. Mine's head. head. And then what's yeah. the other one, heart? Heart. I would say yeah. heart and body mm-hmm. for yeah. me, not my head. Yeah. We So one of your wings, mm-hmm. I think, is the giver yes, and the observer. And I'm the giver. Okay. Yeah. The meteor? Yeah. One of your... Oh, wait. I, f- yes. I feel like that's fitting. Oh wait, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. That's wrong. So actually, the wings are, sorry, messed up. The mediator, which is Mia, yeah. actually, and the epicure. And then the giver is your security point. And then the st- stressor point is the observer. So this, this Enneagram report also um, has like the security point and the stress point. So like mm. my understanding of these, I'll read the, uh, the, the definitions, but the security point I think is like when you're feeling real good, yeah. like when you're feeling real good, you can, you have a lot of confidence. Mm. And then the stress point is when you are stressed, like that's where you embody that a little bit more. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So that's what it means. Yes, I think so. Um, let me see it on my chair. But yeah, so what are you trying to find? Um, like the description that I captured. Oh, <laughs> you didn't capture I any. Well, I don't think you captured oh, okay. a description. You didn't. You didn't capture okay. any description. You just sent us this. Yeah, because I was like, man, I want to pay for this, and then I was like, <laughs> okay, because the internet confuses me. <laughs> like seriously, like a lot of things on the internet. I'm like, why can't it just be simple? It's like you had to pay for it. Okay. Why didn't they just tell me in the beginning, hey, this is a report you have to pay for. No, they, but that's they that's how they me. get you. It's a business model. I understand. <laughs> I would have probably just paid for it if you told me ahead of time this costs money. But not a lot of people will follow that same yeah, path. Definitely, definitely. I understand. They'll be like, I've, I've spent all this yeah. time taking the test. Fine, I'm going to pay for the result. Yeah. See, like, I'd be like, nope, I'm walking away. Okay. <laughs> On okay. principle. After all that? Because they, they tricked me. <laughs> okay, That's but true. security and stress too. points. So they show where our energy and awareness flow depending on our needs and circumstances. Okay. So we have to move from our home base, which is like your, I think you're eight, right? Yeah. yeah. And then to the two points connected to our own. So I think your security point was the giver. Mm-hmm. And then your stress point was... How do you spell Enneagram? E E N N. E N N? E A Gram. Gram. Okay. It should have went to my email. (laughs) If you paid for it. If you paid for it. So okay, your security point seems to be the giver, and then your stress stress point is the observer. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. I wonder what my security point is. It's okay, I can send you the link for the result. The free Mm -hmm. results. (laughs) <laughs> okay, Miam, what are you? <laughs> Mia, Hold on, let's Mia, guess. Oh, yeah. We got to guess. I can't guess. I saw it. I already know. Okay. I already, uh, I already also said it. But let's so you guess. <laughs> they already know. Okay. Right. No, 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 Mia, you guess. <laughs> what's the some of the ones that we didn't mention yet? What's number two? The giver. Okay, What's what else? The giver, the perfectionist, no. the romantic, the observer, mm, the loyal mm. skeptic, the epicure, the protector, the mediator. Mediator. Yes. Uh, it's, mushy. it's more. It's more because I just don't see you as the other ones, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm so just Mia, process, process of, of elimination. Yeah. Mia, talk about yours because yeah. yours is interesting. Because like, because so for example, they kind of graph this out, and mm-hmm. for example, like, pro- I I think yours too, Dan, but like mine and Thomas's especially, it's like it's like all on one side. Like mm-hmm. the graph is like, okay, your qualities t- tend to fall more on this one side. Okay. And by the way, Thomas is all on the opposite side of mine. <laughs> but then oh, Mia's interesting. Yeah. is interesting because like yours is like all over the place. I'm uh-huh. all over the place. Uh-huh. You want to mm. read? You want to read your little sure. Your so the mediator mediators believe that to be loved and valued, you must blend in and go with the flow. Consequently, mediators seek harmony and are inclusive, amiable, mm-hmm. easygoing, comfortable, and steady. They can also be self-forgetting, conflict avoidant, and stubborn. Oh, definitely conflict avoidant. <laughs> and, def- yeah. and definitely stubborn. And go with the flow. And go with the flow. So this is like pretty accurate. That's mm. what I said. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow. I would say so. Yeah. And I then also so. as a harmonizer, uh-huh. I can see all sides to every issue, which is why I'm like all over the place. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. And which is why I have internal conflict. <laughs> like I'm constantly yeah. struggling with my own self. That's right. Yeah. 
So that's that's this is what? why I said it's pretty accurate. Yeah. What is your so security point? I would like like when you're confident, like what does it say that you are? Security point? Yeah. The performer. The performer. Okay. Hmm. So you have you're performed <laughs> as you're doing now and on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in sales, so you're kind of I performing was all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Especially at work, yeah. Isn't that yeah. so Question, weird? Do you, do you guys, I feel like, do you f- relate these to what your profession is? Like, Yes. I was I just know. thinking about it yours, earlier yours today, actually. Because I'm like, no. wow, this is, I guess this is yeah. why I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, because you have to see things from all sides. You have to yeah. consider like client, relationship. Yeah, and like organizing yeah. between all these different teams, yeah. relaying messages, trying to, you know, move projects along and things like that. So what was, I was mine like, again? wow. <laughs> was Eight? it the protector? Oh, not in my work, no. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. My, I, I protect the best interests of my clients? No. I was also going to no. say, you protect my their houses? I, don't think. I protect my, uh, their... Well, something, goes, something yeah. Vanderbilt. This goes to show, again, right? Like, yeah. just because you're a certain type doesn't mean, like, you can't be a blah, blah, or blah. That's right. Because, yeah. like, I yeah. also don't think... Like, and how crazy would that be? Like, everybody that is in sales is, well, that might be a bad one to compare to. But, like, everybody that is this one thing, they're all the same. Like, it's not. Yeah, no, I I, I think you're right. I think it can lend. It can benefit your job, but yes. every job has a different type for yeah. sure. And and you'll I think you'll see like different types of jobs just mm-hmm. attract different types of people yeah. for sure. too, right? Um, yeah. Like for mine, it's like analytic, thoughtful, non so non demanding, perfect. <laughs> yeah, mine is non demanding. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's me, non demanding. No, uh, so um, I remember years ago I was at a uh, work conference and mm-hmm. then. Uh, we did this thing called a uh, like they made everyone take this other type of personality survey. Was it a colors one? Uh, it, was, it was called a SDI Strengths okay. Development Index. Okay. okay. And so it categorized into uh, like three major areas, which is like okay. red, blue, green. Red yeah. is like more like dominant personality. Mm-hmm. Green is uh, analytical. Blue is like very um, uh, like like mediator kind. Like you you. Uh, I think I know. For, Wait, there's four of them. Yeah, there's a yellow. There should be a yellow. No, no, it's three. Oh, there's so three. There's a a, there's I a, took the. I feel like there's one. one that I. It's like something the ti. No, it's probably different tests. MBTI. 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 No. DJS. LMAO. This was all triangle. Okay. And then basically there were two states that you were in. So like one is your steady state, one like your normal operation, and then one is your like heightened state, like when you're threatened or excited or something like that, right? Okay. And then so for mine, I got like analytical and then when yeah. when like when i'm threatened or something i become more analytical oh right oh. and then so like and what? it was interesting was like for a lot of the engineers yeah. they were all in like the blue or mm-hmm. green area uh-huh. and the, like the more management folks or like the leadership folks were in the red area because they were more like the dominant types gotcha so, right right but i think that also goes to show because then somebody could be like well i'm not a red so i can't be in management but i think it goes to show also the effect of your environment right because right. if you're in management you can't be in the weeds you can't you don't have time it's not it's not your job to do certain things so you have to flex right like other parts of it right but right. you're also right that it does attract like it, certain it attracts people. certain personalities. Yeah, it does, yeah. It does, so it does. so that's that's what was interesting. And yeah. but like going back, um, coming back to this, I thought it was most interesting was just like some of this is like just the small details. Mm. Like for example, speaking style for the observer. <laughs> Vibes are content foc- content focused, clear, analytical, and wordy, but not big on small talk. <laughs> Others may perceive vibes as emotionally disconnected, mm. aloof, overly analytical and distant mm. what and then what i i think you should read your life lesson thomas because i wait, that's something i, lo- I love i love life this? This, the reports wait, okay. are so good let Here. me send you yeah. send, uh, it to dan. Dan. S- send it to dan somebody okay i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it because like this report again like we mentioned earlier right it has like the spiritual element the psychological element but there's like the life lesson that wow. where it thinks that you should what you should learn from life I'll read mine, but Thomas, do you want to read yours first? <laughs> yeah. Um, to reconnect to the vitality of your life force and your heartfelt feelings, realizing that ample energy and resources are available. And then mine is to develop the humility that comes from allowing yourself to be loved without being needed and to have needs of your own. I mm. like really related to this. Uh, do you relate to yours at all? I have no <laughs> idea what mine means. <laughs> Like, like, what is this scarcity? Wait, read it again. Read it again. uh, To reconnect to the vitality of your life force and your heartfelt feelings, realizing that ample energy and resources are available. 
It just sounds like you have a lot of untapped feelings. And energy? Yeah. Energy and potential, like in there somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know about neither of them. (laughs) So my life lesson is uh, to harness the life force in productive ways, integrating self-assertion with vulnerability. So I don't know what the second part means, but the first part for sure. (laughs) Productive Mm. and using basically like, I always want to feel like I'm being productive in some way. Mm. 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 That's fair. That's fair. But like yeah. direct that energy. Yeah. So like for myself, for others, both. Okay. Yeah. See? It's so accurate. like like the balance, the pa- like how I am now, it's balanced in that like I have my family that I'm, you know, protecting over, mm-hmm. but also I'm doing stuff like this that's worthwhile for mm-hmm. my soul. Mm-hmm. And then I have to like do work mm. to pay for the bills. <laughs> So it's okay. like, I'm always doing something. So we you know? all, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Like somebody like me, if I just had money left to me, like I don't, it wouldn't work. Cause I'd be like, wait, I, I need to work. I need to like do something. Mm-hmm. You Feel know? productive. Yeah, exactly. What Mine, you're it? like, I'm like the opposite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, there's, one, <laughs> oh, because there's one, what, yeah. what is it? There's like a. Yeah. What Mia? What were we? My reading? defense mechanism. The defense mechanism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the defense mechanism. It's so. How bad. do you even read this word? <laughs> Narcotization. 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 I've never seen that word before. <laughs> Using food, drink, entertainment, or repetitive <laughs> patterns of thinking and doing to put oneself to sleep. So wait, what's this? This is how you. This is your defense. Yeah. yeah. Where is I'm basically here? like sedating that's, myself. <laughs> I know that's so interesting. I think it's down here. Oh, defense there's mechanism. more. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a What's whole your defense lot more. Mechanism? Denial. <laughs> <laughs> but that's everyone. No, 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 no. Oh, I see. Some people can like face it. Okay, so I see. Okay, <laughs> denial. The forceful redirection of attention and feeling based on willingness control. Eights use denial to avoid <laughs> vulnerability and to maintain a self image of being strong. They seek to impact the world and other people rather than to be receptive. The pressure to deny vulnerability reduces their emotional energy and keeps them from receiving all of life's gifts. I don't quite understand that one, but okay. Interesting. Mine is defense mechanism. Repression. Suppressing unacceptable feelings and converting them into a more acceptable form of emotional energy. Twos use repression of personal needs and feelings to avoid being needy and to maintain a helpful self-image. Their genuine need for connection takes the form of you need me (laughs) and seeking approval. Twos can miss authentic connection and relationships due to their tendency to shape shift by being overly nice, superficially friendly and flattering, often feeling indispensable. They may they also may display an attitude of entitlement. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> but it is the defense mechanism. I I uh I uh, like connect with the first the the repression of like like the people I think that that's like a people pleaser like uh-huh. uh mm-hmm. feature. <laughs> feature um because it's like oh what do you need Mm -hmm. versus like oh what do i need that's really hard for me so the relating to ones are really interesting like how you relate to these numbers Mm -hmm. so i just read like relating to eights and i feel like oh oh yeah right on because i'm thinking like wait okay so read yours how do we relate to so for me so this is like a if you are talking to somebody like an eight, it's like chemistry. Right? It, I think it's like yeah. who you get, how you get along with them. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. How you so get along I see with it them. as yep. like romantically and friendship, friendship wise, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. So probably even better. for me, like I see all these in ye. Oh. No, like, she does these three. Oh, yeah. you want to read them? Oh. So be direct and forthright, yet flexible and open. So she. So sometimes, like I'll close off and I won't mm. express how I'm feeling, mm. but she knows I'm agitated, and she's like, "Why don't you just?" tell me and i'm like i I don't know how to verbalize what i'm Mm. feeling and i'm a guy so i just i'm gonna shut off like for a little (laughs) Mm. bit Mm. and then but she you know she's like but yet flexible and open so Uh it's like tell me so i can help you like get through it stay steady and present in the face of confrontation and conflict hold your ground so she doesn't quite so sometimes i'll be like (laughs) you need like fight back like if i Mm, like if i'm if we're talking about something and i'm like 
making my points like i want you to like mm-hmm. come back at me yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. i don't want to do- I, I want you i want this to be like a mutual yeah, thing yeah, you know yeah because she's like no you're so argumentative like, i don't want mm-hmm. oh, i am argumentative <laughs> <laughs> so be like, i don't want like i'm not your friend where you guys can just argue for hours like i'm like why not <laughs> like that's how you get somewhere you know you talk about your differences and you like bang on your point until the other person submits but then the bat but then like you want them to battle it's like two lines it's like all right they gave it their all fine i i feel like you know they like push back enough but she doesn't push back quite enough it can be hard call them on destructive or threatening behavior yes (laughs) while being empathetic to their underlying hurt feelings Mm. so most it's more like Mm self-destructive Because like I'll, for example, fall off an ATV when I shouldn't have, right? <laughs> On the way to meeting Mia at KCON. Like, don't do that. <laughs> um, or like, I will divorce you after. if you do that. Yeah. Don't, not before. Like, mm. uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Express your own feelings, including softer, tender ones. Yeah, I think that applies for her. And join them in getting things moving in work or play. Mm. Very much true. Because I feel like, again, like, p- p- like working and making being productive at work is very important. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. See? That's so that's nice. What about yours? So what about nice. yours? Tell us what are yours. Uh, let's see. Relating to fives, respect their need for privacy. Mm. Um, make it safe for them to share themselves, especially their feelings. Um, approach them slowly and thoughtfully and avoid pressuring them for immediate contact or fast <laughs> decisions. <laughs> Join them in talking about ideas and valuing the inner life. Don't make assumptions about what's going on with them. Ask them for direct communication. Now I ask you guys, do you see Flea doing I any of was these? At, was, <laughs> I was you. about to say, do you see yeah. Felicia doing any of these to you? That's all I could think. <laughs> yeah, I think she probably does most of I them. I've some of them. Okay, wait, read yeah, them yeah. real quick again, because some of them they might she might not do. <laughs> uh, let me read the ones that I think she doesn't do. Doesn't do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Approach them slowly and thoughtfully. Yeah, <laughs> definitely no. Them. Definitely no. Like, tell yeah. me right now. Yeah. Like, tell me right now. But yeah. maybe that's what you need. <laughs> like, make a decision I mean, right also, now. That's also her communication yeah. style. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, I think that's like the only one actually. Yeah. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Don't throw out all my stuff, please. <laughs> please. Yeah. Do you do you relate to them? And that's that's great. Um. Yeah, most of it. Oh, yeah. What do you what's not the, to? What's the other ones? Um, I feel like she does some, but yeah, yeah. Thomas no, thinks she I, does like all the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I think oh, that was no. the only one. She's just, like that's just her <laughs> communication style. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Me? Yeah. And then you know what question comes next? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have anybody who does it to me. No, anyway. but in the past. In the oh. past. <laughs> Don't worry, Dan's or always got... Or is this what you look you go. for? <laughs> <laughs> I'll save me. I'll save me. Relating to twos. <laughs> it's very in line with the nine. Okay, relating to twos. Step forward to make contact. Offer approval or, or appreciation when possible. Stay constant and provide steadiness, paying attention to their needs. Join them in valuing warmth, personal contact, and partnership. Avoid being critical or not taking them seriously. Head off outbursts by addressing their dissatisfaction or resentment. Oh, that's so interesting. I don't think you need to avoid being critical with me because I've worked. I, I, so I have been around over a lot of like just like and right. very analytical people like all the time. Mm. Like my a lot of my friends are like that. I think a lot of my family like it's like. But that. what about your but. significant <laughs> other? <laughs> Because the rest that. don't matter. Yeah. And then also, no, that's how I'm like. And then <laughs> also the head off outbursts by addressing their dissatisfaction or resentment. So does that mean like when you're fighting, mm-hmm. address that where that I am dissatisfied and where I'm res- like resentful? Is that what that means? Hmm. I think. Okay. Do you want these qualities in your mate? That's the think? important question. I think. Do you value these? A lot of these I do. Okay. I think it would be, it's helpful because I do think I will, it's I'm a lot better now, but like it's helpful for me to have somebody to coax me uh-huh. out. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, so like to yeah. be very welcoming, yeah. mm. to be like, no, tell me, like, tell me, like, tell me. <laughs> so like oh. stepping forward to make contact, staying constant and providing steadiness, paying attention to their needs, join them in valuing warmth, personal contact and partnership. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you feel like some of these are just like <laughs> basic relationship tips? 
Because no, like, I don't know. They're pretty specific. No, no, no. Though. Yeah. Like, no pretty like mine's specific. very specific. Like, yeah. like, like for mine, like make it safe for them to share themselves, especially their feelings. Like I would hope that your significant other can. Like, no, I think that's here. no, I think that's very significant because sometimes people are like not significant, like very unique to it. Like I feel like yes. some of these are like general because he doesn't because i don't need to be made feel safe i'm going to share with you yeah regardless like that, yes i think it plays to okay. it plays to like you may yeah. m- you may it might be helpful yeah. for that type or, to be felt to be reinforced like hey yeah it's okay it's like space. that this might not be true space. for you but i think yeah. that's like a or, or like thing. respect their need for privacy like does anyone yeah. like being intruded but upon see, that one is I, also very I don't specific care. to you yeah. i think yeah also. i don't care yeah, yeah. yeah it's more you know? like but some people do yeah mm. I, think I thought you <laughs> yeah i think like that's, some people some people want to be approached like kwan like hello yeah. tell mm. me tell me tell right. me so like i don't think yours would be like join them in valuing warmth personal contact <laughs> but see i think that's very true but for I don't you right think, yeah yeah but i don't yeah. think you are like i disagree with that right oh yeah but, like in the past like when i was feeling down like yeah. flu would just straight up ask you like ask me like what's wrong with you yeah <laughs> there's no respect for privacy <laughs> right. there's no slow right. thoughtful but approach me, but i feel <laughs> like that one is making you feel safe Right or like no, that's how they relate to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. Yeah. but they weren't relating to you then. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> right. So I would say that one that? is definitely yeah. She'll be like, "Hello," but that's accurate for you because uh, let's say at work or something, you don't want just somebody coming up to be like, "Hey, what's up? Yeah. Like, what's what's going on? What's bothering you?" And you're like, well, "I'm not gonna tell you what's bothering me," <laughs> like. Because they gotta like approach it. Mm. They gotta like win your trust, mm-hmm. you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, Mia, stop. Six foot Mia, stop stick. playing. Right, Mia, drum roll. Okay. <laughs> Relating to nines, ask them what they want and need, and give them time to discern the answer. Avoid coming on too strong, getting impatient, or creating pressure. That's I true. agree. I say uh, definitely. I agree. If you sense they're reluctant or unsure about something they said yes to or agreed to do, Back let off. them know that it's okay to say no. <laughs> 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 encourage them to determine their priorities <laughs> and support yes. them to take action prioritize yeah. yourself <laughs> yeah. and take action <laughs> stay present to them when they're angry share body based mm. activities such as walking exercising cooking or eating exercising mm. exercising going to yeah. work out together yeah yeah, yeah. so it's mm. okay so in terms of nines right mm-hmm. <laughs> It says, okay, this is like way down. It says low energy nines suffer from inertia and physical laziness, while high energy nines stay constantly active. This is what I was talking about. Uh, the, end, the high, this is what okay, I was trying okay. to find. Yes. Yeah, so you're uh, at the bottom. The, the, the 1A, 1B yes, yes. type. Yes. Is it at the bottom? So, Somatics. So, Somatic. Towards the bottom. Wait. There. Hi. But mine doesn't say like high energy. Yeah, where's the high energy? Low I don't energy? know. It's just me, I guess. <laughs> Where do you? Oh, oh it's there. The oh. Yeah. Okay, so do you think uh, are you a high or low? I can be both. <laughs> okay. Where Where do you think you are high? Like when what? Maybe like scenarios or groups of people. Uh. <laughs> like in what? When I'm both? with a group of people that I'm f- comfortable uh, with. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then um, when you're not comfortable. I'm just like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I think from, I can, I think my default state is inertia and just like, I don't want to, Yeah, mm. I'm like very real resistant to change. Mm. Um, but once you start, you're like, like unstoppable. <laughs> like there are moments where I'm mm. like, all right, yeah, this is actually nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, do, do you have a moment in mind? I don't remember. Do you value these in a mate? <laughs> would you like to? Would you? Are, are, oh. Would you like to see all those in a mate? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think like a yeah. more active person would yeah. be good for me, just so that active, they they can get yeah. me out of my cave. But it's like it's also like suggesting, but you're like no, but not and then too hard. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. having the and flexibility, not like, to not back like off. rush me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't thing, like do to not, be rushed. Do not mm. Yeah, rush me. I don't like mm. like last minute stuff. Right. Like give me time to plan and get ready for huh. it mentally <laughs> it's funny because i that's i wonder what ye is yeah. what do you think felicia is i have no idea actually okay i feel like because those are i didn't because i didn't really read the other ones <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's what i mean yeah i, yeah, I, I don't, need, I'm not I need to look at it more as much with the, but the that one types. sounds like ye though like she Which doesn't one? like to be she doesn't like it when like people pressure her mm. and she wants to arrive at mm. 
Right. The she decision. doesn't like being surprised. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But she but she likes ideas, but then like, okay, no, don't don't pressure me. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> don't all right. Let me let me uh, digest this and think about immediate, it. Immediate, but I don't yeah, she, well, she could be immediate. I she, what if she's a nine? I feel she's like also she's a nine. Mediator. She could be a nine because she's always like in the role in her. Yeah, family I can see life her being a nine at work. actually. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so muy interesante. I mean, this is what I find really interesting about this one. Right? Yeah, I remember like kind of being like in Tokyo. I was like, oh yeah, sure, observer. And then when we were going our results, Mia was like, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is like, whoa. Me. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then you're like, look at your defense mechanism. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> By yeah, eating wow. or yeah. drinking is my yeah. defense mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. My goodness. And then, cause I, I looked at mine, it's like yeah, it isolation this? can mm. be physically withdrawal, withdrawn from others, but also staying in the head and withdrawing from one's emotions. I'm like, Hmm. Mm. This is true. So you're a what, turtle. <laughs> why don't we? Should we read some of the other ones that were not like the performer, the oh, romantic? Yes. yes. Oh, the epicure. The epi- the yeah, epicure. that one I'm very curious about. Yeah. So the perfectionist is not number one. Uh-huh. Perfectionists believe they must be good and right to be worthy. Consequently, perfectionists are conscientious, responsible, improvement-oriented, and self-controlled, but also can be critical, resentful, and self-judging. I, I, I want to see what were my hmm. what were my wings. My one of my wings is the perfectionist, mm. and then my wings are the performer and the perfectionist. Mm-hmm. So what are your wings? wings? Uh, I don't remember. I think mm. protector and perfectionist. Okay, and then mine so were the ro- protector. romantic and the loyal skeptic. Mm. Yes. Okay. And then, okay, next. So, and then I'm the two. And then the performer, which is all, my other wink, <laughs> which is, okay, the performer. Performers believe you must accomplish and succeed to be loved. Man, there's a lot of like ultimatums here about value. <laughs> Consequently, performers are industrious, fast paced, efficient, and goal oriented. They also can be inattentive to feelings, impatient, and image driven. So that's the so performer is actually my security point. Huh. Oh, whatever that that's means. right. So when you're confident, you are you tend to be oh. more like this. See, oh, look, industrious, fast paced, efficient, goal oriented. Like when you move. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not a sloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I okay, love it. OK, that's that's interesting. And then. Fourth, is it the romantic? Mm-hmm. The romantic. And that's one of your wings, right, Thomas? Yeah. Romantic. They are, romantics believe you can regain the lost ideal love or perfect state by finding the love or situation that is unique, special, and fulfilling. Consequently, romantics are idealistic, deeply feeling, empathetic, and authentic. They can also be dramatic, moody, and sometimes self-absorbed. This is a very interesting test. Because it's got, like, so many branches. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's got a mm-hmm. lot of branches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it seems uh, seems more um, interesting than MBTI. Yeah. It basically so. boils it down to, like, 16 major categories of personality. I mean, I've heard people say that, though. Like, in the world, there's major 16. I'm like, okay. I mean, I guess kind of, right? Yeah. Everyone but it kind of fits seems like something. this one captures the nuances a little yeah. bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. also, um, like, MBTI, for the origins of that, it was actually just, like, the people who created it, I don't think they were actually, like, psychologists or something. Okay. Um, like, they... They were trolls. Like, no, no, but, no, Carl but they, Young and no, the, no, it wasn't. They oh, read okay. about. They read oh. Carl Young. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, and then Carl Young also made assumptions on mm-hmm. like human uh, right. nature and personalities and things like that. Mm-hmm. So these folks, it was like a mother and daughter pair. Oh, and that's they, right. They oh, like read systematized. About it. It. We read about. We say that in our episode. <laughs> yeah, what? we. I do remember that now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So yes. I wonder like how this more came about because this is, is actually yeah. very is this one getting more popular do you guys think because mbti yes, is recent, like super popular recently the enneagram was huge and trending yeah and like maybe in the last couple of years i just like never yeah. took it so and people are late like to the game, i'm an eight i'm yes, a nine yes, i'm a one it was a thing it was yeah. definitely I'm a, one, but a thing with a seven two wing and yeah. like yeah. Yeah. it's gonna yeah. get yeah. like actually yes or like maybe they'll do four digits and it's like the first one is your main then your two wings and then your thing and be like, I'm at 8241. We should start memorizing. <laughs> we should this. do that. We should. <laughs> that should be a trend. Like hashtag four digits, and if you know, you know. Like that's if your you enneagram know, you profile. Know. Uh, this is instead this of the MBTI, it's like eight six four two. This is sounding very millennial. Oh my god, no! And then you go on a date, it's like, 
What's your, oh, what's your yo? number? What's your yeah. number? Zzz. I think what's people your did that. <laughs> I think what are your people numbers? started doing that. Yeah. I think people started doing that. Okay, like, okay, they should make a new. Okay, you know how like every generation has like their uh, rom coms that define that generation. Mm-hmm. We should make a new one where people go on dates and they're just like, okay, here's my here's my enneagram, here's my MBTI, here's my this, here's my here's my here's uh, blood type, my, blood <laughs> type. Here's no, my political affiliation, my religious affiliation, and if you're not with any of those, we can't even go on a date. <laughs> I can see that being a scene, the the opening yeah. scene of a movie. And it's just sure. like, oh, okay. And then, uh, uh, like speed dating, but with like your, like you're just boiled down to numbers and letters. Oh, no. That's what, that's what's going on now. Actually, so, so like no one the, actually gets to know anybody although else. Although the MBTI, so I, the one like you were saying was all correct. The one that we did take, it did include that like turbulent and assertive. Oh yeah, that thing. was interesting. Which I am is, turbulent. Which, yes, which does, it was trying to mimic the big five personality of like okay. actual psychology mm. and okay. people actually do use that i feel like as like I a more i thought you didn't time it today i did <laughs> i always remember <laughs> to Perfect time us. <laughs> just hey, she's um, a mediator okay <laughs> one question i want to post to you guys is how often do you use these personality tests to see your flaws and to improve on them well, now I'm going to look at it a lot more. Okay. <laughs> or even so like now, when you did MBTI, mm-hmm. like, did you see the, the areas where you lacked? That was interesting. In, okay. So mo- I think most people take these to define themselves because it's mm. important to have an identity, mm-hmm. but not a lot of people look for their flaws mm-hmm. so that they can improve themselves. Because I feel like as humans, these, this is what you are now, but in five, 10 years, you can you keep could, working if on If you yeah. want. Yeah. yeah. Some people don't. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been trying to work on my turbulent self and be like, oh. you know, turbulent just, self. Yeah, because and and part of my MBTI yeah. test result is that I'm a turbulent type, which means oh, I have okay. I'm like constantly battling my inner conflict. Interesting. Um, so so that works for you. You're like, listen, yeah. I have you see that as something you want to improve on. Mm-hmm. I think that's mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. I think at any point you could use it to self improvement is good. Yeah. yeah. And not I mean, just like, I mean, for me, I use these as like just to better understand because yeah. these things kind of like frame you or like visualize you in a in a more concise way. Right. right? Mm-hmm. Rather than like you just kind of trying to describe your personality. Mm-hmm. Right. So like really I use I like these reading about these just to kind of better understand yeah. like what my thought process is. Right. Like um, but I don't. I actually don't really use them to be like, oh, I'm analytical. I should yeah. be less analytical. <laughs> no, like I'll, I'll okay. like lean more into it actually. But because, yeah. because to me it's like, if you're just trying to better yourself, it's just off of these results mm-hmm. of like trying to figure out like the missing areas that you have. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, um, it's like an aimless goal to me. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, versus like you figure out, um, like what is the context that you're trying to better yourself? Mm-hmm. Is right. it like for work? Is it like what part of your life? Yeah, like a better it, spouse ex- or exactly, whatever. exactly. Yeah. Then rather than just like oh, I'm analytical, I need to think be more. less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I would say like for you, when you if you know that you don't like to share and be rushed, do you see that as like a or be rushed to share? Do you see that as like a protective mechanism? And if so. It, first of all, if it's if how much you relate to it, and then also if yeah. so, do you feel like it's good to see be like okay, maybe I'm doing that to protect myself, but sometimes I can like be more vulnerable and open it's with your spouse, let's say. Yeah, and yeah. then it helped, and then maybe that's good. Yeah, I mean, in general, I'm pretty um, pretty open about sharing stuff. Yeah, and and like, I mean, <laughs> we're like been friends for so long. <laughs> or yeah, I mean with strangers, not saying with strangers, but I guess like if whatever you see in there, then you, you can like improve on some things. Yeah. I don't know if that's useful. Maybe. Like sometimes I'll try to figure out like an example is like, oh, uh, like I'm very good at doing individual things mm-hmm. like uh, as an uh, individual contributor. I was like, oh, maybe I want to step up to lead the team or go into management, right? Right, right. And then I found out that was like, very exhausting to deal with people. More <laughs> exhaust, much more exhausting yes. than just doing work, mm-hmm. right? I was like, Way oh, more. maybe I'm not sure I like this anymore. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that's the kind of thing where it's like, you. That's what I mean by like, there's a context that you want to figure out before mm-hmm. then just going and say, oh, I'm analytical. I want to do yeah. something else. Yeah, 
I don't think I reference these like all the time, but mm. the two ways I find it helpful is one, it's actually helpful to read other people's types mm. and to be like, like, especially this section, like how to approach somebody like this. Mm. I think it's super helpful, especially the second way that I find it helpful is like, to, like what I was saying, it describes it in a very concise manner. So you also kind of know how you kind of come across or how you may land w- right. w- and maybe you didn't know that like, Oh, when I, I have best, I've put in best efforts here, but it may be like overly this way yeah. or overly mm. the other way, depending on the relationship, right? If somebody knows you, it's probably not going to be misread, but mm-hmm. if somebody doesn't know you and mm-hmm. they're more skeptical or something like it can, it'll be different. Right. So I find that that's, that's where it is. Yeah. At, the, at the very least it helps me to like be more self-aware because sometimes I it's like one. yeah you know you have your personality traits and it's hard to put these things into words yes, and so these help in that way so mm-hmm. on your dating profile you'd be like don't rush me bro <laughs> don't rush me, <laughs> <laughs> me. Yeah. And, and feed me <laughs> feed me <laughs> do not force me to make a decision <laughs> Or and I like date. and I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I like to hike. <laughs> solid, right. solid plan. Right. Solid. <laughs> we right. babbled too much. Yes, everybody, go update your dating profiles with your yeah. enneagrams. Your we should MBTI. get our spouses to take these. Yeah, I'm yeah. curious to know. Yes, and yeah. please share with you. Take we'll we'll try to link the uh, those stuff that we took in mm-hmm. the description. But share with us what you are and. See what your wings are, your security point, your pressure what are your point, pressure point, your defense mechanisms, <laughs> your defense mechanisms, and yeah, let us know, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.